Hey, this is a tip for Adobe Audition. This will show you how you can adjust the volume levels of an audio file at several different points. So I did a video a while back to show you how you can quickly do a fade in and fade out. This is kind of the same thing, but at several different points in your file. So I've dragged a couple of WAV files into this files window here. If you can't see that, go up to window and files. And this needs to be in multi-track mode for this to work. So click multi-track and it's asking for the resolution of the audio here so um, I'm just going to OK that that's the output resolution so my files I think might be 44 kilohertz so they're not quite as high but it doesn't really matter that's just the end mix result if you like so I've got a bass guitar here I'm going to drag that into track one yeah it's just saying that it's going to convert the sample rate that's fine and I've got a guitar here that I'm going to drag into track two so I'm just going to zoom in a bit I'm going to play back the um, two samples at the same time so you can hear it. So what I'm going to do is click here to create a keyframe and this yellow line is the volume. So I'm going to create another one there and another one there and another one there. And I'm going to click on one of these keyframes and drag it and that's then adjusting the audio for that part. So I'm going to do that there. So if I play it back you should hear a break in the bass guitar. So here we go. So there you go, that's kind of it really, but um, if you want to adjust the curve of these um, lines here, because they're a bit harsh, you can click another little keyframe there and another little keyframe there. And then if you right click on the line and say spline curves, this is now giving us some curves that we can start adjusting and pulling around however you want. Um, and that's kind of it really. The only other thing that I thought I'd cover is how to do um, um, a crossfade. So I'll just drag the base in there and I'm just going to drag it here. Now under clip, automatic crossfades are enabled. So all I have to do is drag this one over that one and you can see the crossfade appears. And much like with the um, fade in fade out, there's a fade slider on this sample here. So I can adjust that however I want. And then if I click on this sample, I have the fade and the sort of linear curve for that one. And that's it really. Hopefully this tip was useful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you'd like to subscribe, please do that. Thanks for watching.